projected that there'll be quite a number of unmanned aircraft in the national airspace, so they'll have to interact with manned aircraft. And the current uh, requirement is that the unmanned aircraft have see and avoid capability comparable to a manned aircraft. So uh, certainly a, a lot of emphasis in developing the capability and the technology to mimic some of the survival mechanisms that have evolved over millions of years in animals to uh, make note of motion in the image plane and react to that almost instinctively as opposed to having it being some higher level cognitive process where uh, you have a long time to process your and develop a strategy for, for moving away from something that's threatening. Not being a neuroscientist or a neurophysiologist, but, but some, some version of controls research engineer, I instituted this collaboration with Boston University's Cognitive Science and Neural Systems Department. Boston University sort of has the, the, the lead in the uh, uh, development of the neuromorphic algorithms. And Langley's task will be to take those algorithms and test them in a realistic unmanned aircraft autopilot simulation and take that to uh, some flight test. And then in parallel, uh, we'll be working with them with their uh, uh, electrical and computer engineering department and our electronic systems branch here to implement those algorithms in field programmable gate arrays and then hopefully that'll uh, lead on to some sort of specialized neuromorphic uh, computing hardware.